Capricorn, hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 26th of February to the 3rd of March 2024. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, too many, and cross watches are welcome. Two, please, one more. So you get the first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. Somebody's trying you here. It's testing you. Full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. So just because they're coming in and trying to test your patience here um, or test that commitment, when you look at the bigger picture, see things for what they really are, see someone for who they really are, whether it's in a negative way, whether it's in a positive way, it will wake up and see what somebody may be trying to do to put you off when it's unnecessary. Capricorn, 26th of February to the 3rd of March, 2024. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Capricorn. Because I do feel like it's someone's trying to put you off from going after what you want here. And looking at that bigger picture, you're able to identify just what's happening. Interesting. Capricorn overall, two of wands. The bigger picture, what you want, who you want, where you want to be. Knowing that you've got to keep moving towards those goals and those dreams knowing that somebody there may be trying to put a stop to it but throughout here good monday queen of pentacles you've put a lot of hard work in to get this far and now these achievements are starting to come in you're proud of your success you're still standing the hard work that is being paid paid off here tuesday the two of wands no two of pentacles why did i say that Two of Pentacles, Tuesday. Um, this is where your commitment is being tested. We talked about somebody that's trying to pull you in a different direction or not let you go in the direction that you're wanting to take here. And this is a bit like a tug of war game where you're determined, you're in control of the situation. The balance and alignment is coming into place. You're getting them, that management happening, but um, it still feels like somebody is trying to pull you in a different direction here. Wow. Nine of Wands, Wednesday. The obstacles that you are having to overcome, a bit, a bit battle scarred, a bit battle weary, tired of having to zigzag and jump through all these hoops all the time. But now you are on solid ground. You're heading towards your dreams, your goals. You're looking at the bigger picture. There's nothing holding you back, no matter how much someone tests your commitment here. Because your commitment is on this. Good luck, good fortune, bigger and better things. Wheel of Fortune on Thursday. Get that happening. This is the last reading out of the 12 signs. Thursday has had Wheel of Fortune, I think, about three times, maybe even four. Um, Friday, Ten of Wands. The burden lifts here. The weight from your shoulders is lifting. You're not having to do all the hard work yourself now. I feel like there is somebody on board, even though they may be testing your commitment at times, but that problem shared, problem halved kind of energy, working together to get things to grow, and it lifts this burden because you're not having to do it by yourself. And suddenly that success comes rolling in. You see that rolling in. What you want, who you want, where you want to be. And you're quite pleased because this work, this hard work is paying off. The Hermit on Sunday may have connection to a Virgo. Taking a step back now. You've got time to breathe, to contemplate. Where to next? Seeing that light at the end of the tunnel. Even though your commitment has been tested possibly through the week, looking at the bigger picture, you're able to identify what's able to be released here and that nothing is holding you back from your bigger and better things from that light at the end of the tunnel by looking at that bigger picture there. Wow. Capricorn, let's clarify everything, starting with the Two of Wands overall for the week. Five of Pentacles, the Magician, Seven of Swords. This is why your commitment's being tested. It feels like somebody's been targeting you as 
jealousy, gossip, backstabbing, has left you out in the cold with no explanation at all, and it's really testing your commitments here. But in doing that, you've manifested a way here to be able to pick up what actually works for you, hold your head high, and take action here to leave all of that kind of energy behind. It's done nothing here but tried to drag you down. Wow, Capricorn. Monday, Queen of Pentacles. You have bigger and better things to focus on here. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, the Lovers, Five of Swords. Whether it's a past love here, soulmate, twin flame, somebody significant that has been trying to get you to be pulled in a different direction, that's tested your commitment here, made you feel like you are banging your head against a brick wall. It's about clearing the crap out from the past and focusing on a fresh new start. For others of you, this is a, um, a one hell of a headache that you have gotten from banging your head against a brick wall, testing your commitment here, that you are able to walk away. That is your victory. That is clearing that crap out of there and focusing on what lies ahead. And it just may be your soulmate twin flame, that significant other that is there as this new chapter starts to unfold. Two of Pentacles, Tuesday. Four of Cups, Judgment, Four of Wands. Balance to start with, with the two fours. Judgment, don't judge others, don't let others judge you either. It is about um, looking at the bigger picture here. Seeing someone for who they really are, situation for what it really is. And even though it may be in a negative way, it's taken a lot of your time, a lot of your energy, a lot of your focus to be able to now focus on stability, commitment, the balance and alignment that comes back into place once this energy is moved on out, I'm going to say. That's been very testing. Nine of Wands, Wednesday. The Moon, Knight of Wands and the Star. Made connection to an Aquarius or Pisces here. Um, you know your dreams, your goals, your wishes here. When things are a bit darker and greyer with the obstacles that you do have to overcome, the hoops that you do have to jump through, that is part of the roller coaster ride. But this moon gives you a lot more clarity to keep you on track of what it is that you want, who it is that you want to be with, and where it is you want to be. And towards your bigger and better things, Wheel of Fortune on Thursday, Capricorn. The sun, holy moly, guacamole. <laughs> Two of wands, three of wands. Two of wands again. Definitely focusing on the bigger picture with the three of wands as well. Um, on where you want to be. What makes you happy? Who makes you happy? Where it is that your happiness truly lies. Definitely your bigger and better things that you are focused on to bring you your happiness. Love it. Ten of Wands, Friday, the Emperor, Eight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. In control of the situation, lifting this burden because you're able to find these other ways around things when you've looked at the bigger picture and seen what the roadblock and the um, test has been to hold hold the whole process up here, and so, so to speak. May have connection to Aries, getting control of the situation, divine masculine energy, very brave, very confident, and um, able to find these other ways, legally and morally, I always say. And then you see that success rolling in as you go into the Nine of Pentacles next as well. King of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Five of Wands. And there it is. That suddenly seems to land on your doorstep once the handbrake is released from all this drama, conflict, jealousy, disagreements that's been happening. Some clear communication. I feel like pretty much where your commitment's been tested, enough is enough. And there's only so much that you will put up with. And your focus now is definitely on your happiness and your bigger and better things. And the Hermit, Sunday. Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Princess of Wands. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> I'm not a very patient person, so when I see that, I'm like, oh. Um, but it is. Things may move at a snail's pace energy. While you are doing all the hard work, it's like two steps forward, one step back. But the whole point of that is the movement is still happening 
forward in that forward direction. You're willing to share your ideas with someone here, possibly your significant other, um, but obviously this is about taking some time to do some soul searching and putting the hard work in, never let hard work go to get your results that you are definitely wanting here. So Capricorn, the universe says, Eight of Cups, the Magus, Two of Cups. Being able to detach emotionally from someone or something, whatever it is that's tested your commitment here, you've manifested a way to leave that behind and focus on this love. Existing relationship, somebody brand new, love is here with that Two of Cups. And that is now your focus. Wow, maybe your bigger and better things right there is a who you want to be with. So finishing, Star Temple Oracle. You get number six, the Amazon Queen, Battle. I am a devoted warrior of the universe. That's absolutely not giving up. You've got this. Star Words, Brave, Resolution, Peace. The Amazon Queen is here to remind you that there are great power and strength in your softness. Now is the time for you to be a peaceful activist for healing and balance in the world. It is possible for you to do this in your own way, one that feels intuitively right for you. Wear your battle scars with pride, as these markings symbolise courageous life battles that you have endured and survived. Stronger and wiser, you rise with dignity. You are a voice and brave leader for peaceful transformation. Love that, with that reading. Capricorn, that is what I have for the week. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.